No, 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 no. Okay, you're okay. Oh my god, you okay. A frightening sight for a local dog owner leads to an unusual diagnosis. Her doctors say that Stella's heart can suddenly stop beating. A new at 5.30, Tenders reporter Michael Chen tells us here just a few hours she will undergo surgery to help save her life. Four-year-old Stella. She's you know, happy-go-lucky. Is full of energy <laughs> and not afraid of trouble. Why is there poop on the wall? <laughs> Stella was living a boxer's life until this. No, 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 no. Okay, you're okay. After barking at someone, a collapse. Just really stressed, worried about her. Right there, Stella is wearing a heart monitoring vest, put on after four similar episodes beginning last Wednesday. See in her eyes, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't know exactly what's happening. She knows something's wrong. Using data collected from this collapse, a diagnosis, sick sinus syndrome. It's a heart condition. Node of the heart, which is, I guess, misfiring. That owner Ryan Hill says briefly stopped Stella's heart twice during this episode. It was heartbreaking, okay. um, you know, because she is such an active dog and it's hard to see. It's also hard to find. While the condition is more common in breeds like Westies, we're told it's rare for boxers Stella's age. Okay, you're okay. Oh my god. You're okay. You're okay. Hall says a pacemaker is Stella's best option, with the vet bill climbing toward $9,000. Hall and his wife set up a GoFundMe campaign. It was very touching. That's collected nearly $4,000 in just two days. Just really stressed. I haven't slept very well. The surgery to insert the pacemaker. We're trying to do everything we can for her to, to save her. Scheduled for tonight. Michael Chen, 10 News. Amazing that she can have that surgery and hopefully then have a normal and great life. Let's hope so. Let's hope it works. Yeah, because that is tough. And if you'd like more information on the GoFundMe campaign, there is a link on our website, 10news.com. Click on the red television button. The